Thank you for staying with us. It's Tech this Thursday morning, and we're talking about the biggest tech trends of 2022 globally. McDavis Akwebu is our guest today. He's a growth management consultant with extensive experience in the fields of transformational technologies. It is great to have you. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. Okay, so um, tech trends, global tech trends, or the biggest tech trends, or the most disruptive, as you would call it, tech trends for 2022. We're looking at a number of them. Uh, let's get. Let's just get straight into it. What are the trends that you think are the most disruptive, or the ones that uh, have the most, uh, you know, fire behind them globally? Okay. Um, first, I would like to um, bust the meat. Okay. All right. I would like to bust the meat when people hear the word tech. Okay. They feel like it's a lofty thing that has to maybe involve high intelligence to operate okay. or a form of higher understanding to get to work. Okay. Uh, tech just means new methods. Mm. You get to uh, approach or getting things done okay. practically. Okay. All right. So that's what technology is. All right. Definitely. All right. Then so. uh, talking about the strongest technologies that will influence everything, our daily lives, businesses, society, economics. Mm. Now, uh, the World Bank has been able to identify certain technologies that will be the strongest disruption in the next eight years. And uh, one of it is blockchain technology. I know some of us uh, probably have heard, uh, probably some heard something about blockchain, but blockchain will be one of the most disruptive technologies for the next eight years. Um, I, some of us may have heard something like NFTs, mm. heard um, uh, something like cryptocurrencies and the rest of it. Mo most of our apps will have to pivot into decentralized apps uh, decentralized, having uh, been formed or being created with a blockchain form of a technology. And somehow it's called the Internet of Blockchain. Mm. That's Web3. We have experienced Web1. One. Web1 one, was the, invent was the uh, initial creative stage of the Internet, wherein you get to access at, uh, articles, uh, texts, you are using maybe articles via uh, blogs on the Internet. Okay? And... Um, uh, that was what Web 1. Web 2 was the, um, was the boom of the social media edge, wherein the use of internet was dominantly uh, influenced by social media. Okay. Then we're getting and pivoting into the next stage. Which and that next it? stage is Web 3. Okay, which is based off blockchain technology. Yes, yeah, the internet of blockchain. All right, wonderful. Now, that's something I know people have heard about, but then it's not something that you might be able to break down as much as possible. Let's move into other trends that you think... Uh, All right. Um, secondly, we'll be talking about um, 3D printing. 3D printing. Uh, the, mm. capa the capacity of three, uh, 3D printing will be, uh, it will make possible uh, the ability to uh, build, make construction much cheaper. Automation and all of that. Yes. So you don't need as many people. You don't need a construction site and need as many people as you need a normal day. Yes. You put it, you automate it, and you know that's something that a number of people are very scared of. Yeah. Sure. And uh, but then it is it is where we are at the moment, right? Very well. It is where we are at the moment. So the best we can do is to embrace it because that is it's not just the future; it's the present now. Yeah. True. Um, like for example, uh, I think one of the most underrated sectors in Nigeria. Mm. It's the technology sector, and it's going to be promising. Is it, the growth? Um, if we have to grow economically, we have to be able to em emphasize on um, building the tech, technology sectors. Yes, because we are at a very strong tipping point. If I give an example, during the COVID nineteen, when we had crisis and the rest of it, most tech top companies were the most disruptive, the most profitable. Definitely. So, and and you know the rising, you know, re, uh, rising trends of you know disruption in supply chain and the rest of it. Technology companies will thrive during any disruptions of normal supply oh, chains. Okay. So uh, it's really pivotal that we uh, build or give much emphasis on technology sector in Nigeria. All right. So let's move on to the next one that you have. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, the next one is artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence. Now, that's one that has a, a lot of us have always heard. There's always... But then, what is it about AI that is... This, that, what is the next level of AI that we can look forward to? All right. The next level of AI yeah. and robotics, I would like to put them together because okay. it's, it's, they go hand, they work hand in hand in terms of automation. Mm. Um, AI will be 
AI is a more advanced form of getting machines to work in every form and in any way. Independently. Yes, independently. Yes. Um, and it's going to be, it's, it's, it's more like efficiency, uh, eff building efficiency with machines or devices. Mm. Mm. All right. So uh, robotics and AI, uh, for example, your security guards in the next six years will be robots. Mm. Most of your manual repeated jobs will be robots. We've seen a lot of movies that, they put, that this happens and we, you know, people are scared because of them. They think that robots, because uh, no, artificial intelligence is making them have a mind of their own. And they True. think it gets to a point where robots uh, tend to supersede or would want to fight against humanity and you know, have the upper hand. Is there any need? Is that, is, that a, is that a legit fear or is it just something that we, we see on the movies? Well, obviously, there are dangers to technologies, mm. okay, but the truth is you can't stop it. But the way you can be able to manage it is getting to know it, mm. getting to know how to control it and put safety measures. Measures in place. Yes. All right, wonderful. Okay, so let's go to the panel we want to talk about today. All right, well, we'll be talking about um, visual reality, the metaverse. Mm. Now, that's one that, uh, you know, Mark Zuckerberg has come under the fire for that one quite a lot, you know. But yes, virtual reality, augmented reality and all of that. Uh, you know, okay, so the smaller version is what we see at arcades where people put up the headgear and all of that and then they're transported into different worlds and all of that. But apart from the gaming aspect, how is it going to affect our lives and technology in different in other ways? Okay, when I talked about um, the, uh, when I talked about Web3, mm. wherein it was the internet of blockchains, Right now, when you, when you hear the word visual reality, you, you're, talking about, you're talking about bringing reality to every digital interface. That is, you can be able to feel, touch every digital interface. Mm. For example, your phones uh, are, is an interface wherein you are able to you know, do some digital um, activity, okay? or connect, communicate, and the rest of it. Visual reality and metaverse will make it possible for us to have much reality to every digital interface. Mm. And it creates a bigger or a, a more rich experience, user experience. For example, if I want to go shop in, uh, in the mall, I might, do, I might be so boring to just do the normal uh, shopping, maybe ordering something on your, on your web. But guess what? I can be right in the store, go into the store using my... Metaverse inter interface and do shopping. That is, I get to see the product, even hold the product digitally, mm. and the rest of it. That's the next frontier of commerce. Mm. That's the next frontier of social media. Now you talk, you can see how social media disrupted the whole space, created several of industries that had ranked world most valuable uh, companies. The Metaverse mm. and Web3 will create the next trillion dollar what, uh, what uh, companies, companies and organizations. Wow. So getting ready and putting uh, ones, uh, because there's a lot happening in the tech space, and um, it's good to know that uh, Nigerians currently, and Nigerian tech space are really building amazing products for these frontiers. And it's one thing to just hear about it, it's the second thing to be part of the next move Excellent. of this economic All right, structure. thank you so yeah. much, and I uh, hope we're able to pick up, I uh, hope you are out there, we're able to pick up one or two things. And, uh, you know, get ready because technology is not just the future, it is here and it's happening. Mm -hmm.